Guys, in this video, we will learn how to run LLM models in Google Colab. Uh, we will run uh, Mistral and Llama model in Google Colab. Uh, we will get this model from Hugging Face website. So let's get started. Let's go to the Hugging Face website and check the models. So search for Hugging Face. And this is the website. And let's go to the model section where we will get our models. Uh, let's search for the models. Uh, we will search for Mistral. This is the Mistral model. Let's copy the name of the Mistral 7B instruct and let's search here. So there are lots of Mistral models. Let's click on the first one. And this is the Mistral description documentation. And we will use this uh, with uh, we will run this model with Llama CPP, Llama CPP library. This is the library of Python. And we will use this to run our models llm models and this is the github documentation and let's go to the files and versions and these are some different mistral models we can download these models these are in gbs so let's click one of the models and this is the model here we can copy the link of this model and if we paste this url in the url section then we can able to download the model our downloading is started so we can directly download this and let's go to the code and this is the code this is the google collab and i have installed sentence transformer and q transformer and transformer is the library that we use to run pre-trained models llm models and mistral and llamas are pre-trained llm models so that's why we will use transformers let's go to the llama cpp again and this is the github documentation about llama cpp how to run this there are lots of details and examples available here if you are if you are doing coding then we can prefer the documentation and let's go to the langchain website now of llama cpp uh, this is the Langchain documentation about Llama CPP. Uh, here we can say how to, here we can learn how to install this. There are different versions in, in Linux commands. So this is the documentation and let's run this code. Then this is the sudo command, this is the Linux commands. Then I have imported Llama CPP here and logging and then this is the code. So let's run these codes one by one. Google Colab support Linux commands also. So we can run this. This is the Linux commands. We can also execute Linux command in Google Colab but uh, when we are running this in local system that contains windows so we need to change the setup and we need to change the commands so it will take uh, some time to run make sure you have changed the runtime on gpu because the model will take time to execute so we need to change runtime on gpu i have installed langchain and llama index also this is the model llm cpp and here i have given the path of the url that we have seen mistral url path in the model url section and let's run this now we can see the model is started downloading it's showing the size of the model like 3825 mbs it is showing downloading status first it will download the model and then it will execute here we don't need to download the complete mo model because google collab provide you facility to 
execute this huge model in a very less time because we are running this on GPU and I have mentioned temperature, max token size, context window and generate quark and GPU layers and temperature we can manage the temperature so our responses will be creative and then we can also manage the token sizes like we can increase the token if we want more characters in our output so we can manage the responses and prompts in this so our model is now downloaded and it's ready to run i have written another code where we will execute or run this so let's copy the url from here and paste here this is the model url and let's run this i have made a small code to chat with this model so this is started and let's write something so this is the model responses and like uh, let's ask some more questions and this is how our mr model is responding Uh, yeah these are the responses and the responses are very good and this is the responses guys and the responses are very good let's ask some more questions and this is the response uh, let's exit from the loop let's exit from this chat board by typing exit so we can break the loop okay we are exited from the chat board and this is the chat board code guys i have created a while true so we can ask the question in loop and verbose equal to false shows that we are not seeing this model unnecessary details if we write verbose equal to false then the loop where user will input and the input will go into the llm dot complete chatbot let's see the let's see how it's going and how it's responding the results and this is the code llm dot complete and here we will type our question and if we write response dot text then it will show the response this is very simple nothing behind this this is how we can run mistral model and let's go to the another model which is llama let's copy the url from here and this is the name of the model let's search in this is the llama model and this is the official llama model let's access this model and let's go to the files and versions and there are also lots of llama models available here but we will go to the specific size and let's i have copied the url let's paste the this url here so i have pasted the url and let's run this and this is the llama url i have pasted and it will take time so our chatbot is now started running and let's ask some question so this is the responses of llama model and let's ask some more questions now we can see that llama model is responding in large text and it's responding more descriptive the responses of llama model is more descriptive and specific uh, comparatively to mistral but it's not provide information about different 
like i'm asking about virat kohli so it's not providing any information about it if you are asking about person then i think lama model will not provide any information about it so let's ask about sachin tendulkar so yeah this lama model is not providing any answer about a person so let's exit from this model so this is about this video guys if you learn something new from this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you